Good day, students. My name is Dr. Mary Ann. We're going to continue with the clock one years. Please, if you have not watched the ministry book series, you should watch the ministry book series. The link will be in the description box below. This is because the ministry book series is arranged topic by topic, course by course, and it is explained in detail. If you want to explain every question in the years in detail, it will take forever. Also, the years will require you to have knowledge in multiple courses to be able to answer one question. But I'll try to simplify to the best of my ability. So check the link in the description box below to have access to the ministry book series videos. So let's start. This is CROC 1 year 2020 February. In case of inflammation, local anesthetic effect of Novocaine decrease, decreases in strength. What process in the inflammatory focus led to the disturbed hydrolysis of Novocaine salts and therefore disturb release of active anesthesia, anesthetic base. So it's with local tissue acidosis because most of our anesthesias are basic in nature. So if during inflammation there is acidosis and this will neutralize this base, that is why the anesthesia effect decreased. The lab has received a sample of digestive juice for analysis. Its pH is 2.2 named the digestive juice. So we know that the gastric juice is very acidic. It's from 2.2 to 3.5. The um, pancreatic juice, also known as interstitial juice, is basic, okay? One of the functions of central inhibition is the selection and reduction of the sensory information influx to the cerebral cortex. What type of inhibition performs this function? So we know that from the physiology series, we explain the type of inhibition. Pers um, reciprocal inhibition is when, when the flexor muscle or the agonist muscle contracts and the antagonist muscles are inhibited. Lateral inhibition in this case is imagine a surface area and you are touching the center of the surface area. The other receptors around this, this area that you are touching Will be, will be inhibited so that your brain can focus at that exact point. Another interesting, another example Croc might use is this. You can see that when, when light rays hit a region of the retina, um, the other adjacent retina cells are inhibited. You understand? So if Croc talk about this issue, know that it is lateral inhibition so that you can focus on the specific location of that um, stimulus. Okay, good. A woman was diagnosed with peptic ulcer of the stomach. She has a long history of rheumatoid arthritis. The peptic ulcer in this case is most likely to be caused by long-term taking of the following drug. So we know that this woman has rheumatoid arthritis and we know that we don't give antihistamine, we don't give H2 antagonist and we don't give antihypertensive in rheumatoid arthritis. We give glucocorticoids to suppress this inflammatory process. Also, one of the side effects of glucocorticoids is that they can decrease the immunity of a person, thereby causing a peptic ulcer. A man with chronic constipation was taking daily one tablet of bisacodyl. After a time, he had to start taking two tablets daily to achieve the same effect. This type of change in this action of active substance is called, this is tolerance. We know that the difference between tolerance and tachyphylaxis is that tolerance occurs in a long period of time. And when you increase the dose, you will achieve the effect. But in tachyphylaxis, tachyphylaxis occurs in a short period of time. And when you increase the dose, you will not achieve, you, would, you, would, you wouldn't achieve the effect. So the answer will be tolerance because they achieve the effect. So tolerance is also called habituation. The process of collapse progression is associated with nervous system dysfunction. Disturbed pulmonary gas exchange and disturbance in the system of blood and hemostasis. These signs of collapse are caused by development of the following type of hypoxia. So we know that if we explain this in detail, check the pathophysiology series. The link will be in the description box. But we know that hypoxia hypoxia, this is due to a decrease in the amount of oxygen that in the atmosphere. In hypoxic hypoxia, the gas can pass through. In hypoxic hypoxia, there is good gas exchange, that is exchange between the alveoli. 
it is just that in hypoxic hypoxia, the gas outside is less. But in, in, an, in anemic or hemic hypoxia, there is good amount of gas or oxygen in the atmosphere, but there is disturbed gas exchange. So that's why we go for hemic hypoxia. If you want to know more about the type of hypoxia, check the pathophysiology series. After partial pancreatic resection, the patient develops tetoria, which indicates disturbed digestion of fats in the intestine. It is caused by deficiency of the following intestines, of the following enzymes. So we know trypsin is for, is for protein. Pepsin is for protein, but in the stomach. So trypsin is for protein in the intestine. So amylase is for carbohydrates. So we'll be less with lipase, because lipase is for fats, yes? A 21-year-old patient complains of weakness and elevated temperature. Objectively, the liver and spleen are enlarged. Hemoglobin is decreased. Erythrocyte is decreased. Glucocyte is normal. Platelets are decreased. Segmented neutral fuel, as you can see, is decreased. And they said that blood cell is 68%. So in this, um, if you remember from histology, we talked about the differentiation of cell. We know that all these cells um, differentiate from the blood cells. So if your blood cells are very high, so from 50% upward, it is indicative of undifferentiated leukemia. So your cells are, are unable to differentiate. So undifferentiated leukemia. A 60-year-old man suffered a suffered, that is why you notice that there's a decrease in hemoglobin, there's a decrease in erythrocytes, there's a decrease in platelets, there's a decrease in neutral fuse, as you can see, yes, yeah, especially submitted neutral fuse because your cells are not able to differentiate. A 60 year old man suffered a spontaneous rib fracture. X ray showed multiple focal of bilateral coastal osteoporosis. Biopsy material obtained from the place of fracture shows uniform proliferation of lymphocytic plasmatic cell, which is a sign of cellular atypia. So, what did I tell you? Neoplasm or atypia of your plasma cell is multiple myeloma. They wanted to confuse you by putting lymphocytic in case you don't have good knowledge, but you should know that your your plasma cell originates from a cell called your B lymphocytes. So that's why they call it lymphocytic plasmatic cell. In an experiment, after a prolonged electrical stimulation of the peripheral vagus nerve, a brief cardiac arrest occurred. What ion mechanism causes effect? So we know that during action potential, I explained in the first video in the ministry book series, I told you that when sodium enters the cell, that is influx and potassium leaves the cell efflux. When sodium enters the cell, is depolarization and the cell will want to contract or perform its function. When potassium leaves the cell, you can think about it like the cell is resting. So when you irritate the vagus nerve, then the function of vagus nerve is to decrease heart rate. So that's why it will increase potassium efflux so that the cell can rest. Okay, so that is what causes a brief cardiac arrest because if you stimulate Blade vagus nerve a lot, there will be a lot of relaxation causing cardiac arrest due to increased potassium efflux. Healthy parents give birth to a son with phenylketonuria. This child presents with normal development due to a special diet. What type of variability is associated with the convalescence of this child? So already they told you that healthy parents give birth to a child with phenylketonuria, but the child has no normal development due to special diet. So, so the child is the child is affected, but the child is normal. Why? Because of the special diet. And this special diet, you can see it as environmental. Yes, also the same thing as modification variability. Combinative means genetic and environmental factors. Okay, so that's why the answer will be modif modification variability. In an experiment, a dog was administered a certain hormone which resulted in increased glomerular filtration due to dilation of afferent glomerular arterial and decreased what resorption of sodium ion in the nephron. So we know that they're asking you what hormone was administered. So you know if you administer aldosterone, aldosterone will increase the reabsorption of sodium ion. That is why it will be de it will be. You, that's why they administered a trinitriotic hormone because a trinitriotic hormone would decrease the reabsorption of sodium ions. A patient has open facial wound with undermined egg, tissue necrosis, which with gradually developing partial gangrene that nearly reached the bone is observed. On close examination, the wound contains live lava 
the patient was diagnosed with tissue meiosis. What dipteric larva caused this disease? So we know that tissue meiosis is caused by the larva of dipteria um, of insects from the dipteria class. Examples include the Wolfartia magnifica. A nine-month-old nine baby is formula fed. Formula used to feed this baby is imbalanced in vitamin B6 content. This child had convulsion due to distal formation of GABA because we, from the biochemistry we, um, series, we told you that vitamin B6 is needed in the formation of GABA and GABA is in B3. So if you don't have GABA, though you have abscess of EPB3, so the excitatory impulse will be unopposed. So that's why you have convulsion. A 25-year-old woman was hospitalized into the gynecology unit. She needs surgery for the removal of the ovarian tumor. It is necessary to cut ligaments that connect the ovary to the uterus. What ligament is this from anatomy? Of course, I told you the ligament ovary pro proper. Immune deficiency virus, human immunodeficiency virus, has an special surface antigen, GP41 and GP120, and interacts with target cells of the body. So as a fire human lymphocytic antigen, with which viral GP120 develop complementary bond to. So I've explained this to you that your HIV virus attacks your T helper cells, and your T helper cells are also known as what CD4 cells. A sick child presents with high content of phenylpyruvate in urine. Normally, it is absent. Blood phenylalanine level is 350, and you can see the normal is 15. What disease? So we know it's phenylketonuria. And, and in this disease, the child's urine will change green when they react to it with FECL, ferrous chloride. Radioactive isotope of phosphorus was introduced into the system of artificial cell culture. What organic substance can accompany this isotope? So remember from your chemistry that our nucleic acid, also known as a nucleotide, as you can see here, okay, let me show you. So you can see we have the nucleoside and nucleotide. So we have the, the nucleoside is the nitrogenous base, which could be adenine, guanine, and then the sugar, which is the ribose. And then the nucleotide or nucleic acid has the nitrogenous base, sugar, and phosphate. So as you can see, the reason why the answer would not be disaccharide or polysaccharide is because the disaccharide or polysaccharides are glucose molecules and we know our glucose molecule have consists of just carbon and hydrogen bonds yes maybe oxygen so we don't say anything about phosphorus phos phosphorus yes triglycerides has it has nothing to do with um phosphorus if you check the um your chemical structure and triglyceride and amino acids are almost similar so that's why the answer will be nucleic acid yes Mono Amine oxidase inhibitors are widely used as psychopharmacological drugs. They change the level of nearly all neurotransmitters in the synapse, with the following neurotransmitter being the exception. So, of course, it will be acetylcholine. Why? Because mono, um, monoamine oxidase will all monoamine oxidase neutralize dopamine, no adrenaline, adrenaline, and serotonin. So, these four neurotransmitters are also known as amine neurotransmitters. So acetylcholine will be the exception because acetylcholine is degraded by what cholinesterase. During removal of hyperplastic thyroid gland, a 47-year-old woman, the parathyroid gland was damaged. So they're trying to remove the thyroid gland and then it damaged the parathyroid gland. Because of this, she has frequent convulsion, hyperreflexia, laryngospasm, which are signs of hypoparadism. Why? Because parathyroid gland is supposed to make parathyroid gland is supposed to increase calcium level in the blood. So if you don't have parathyroid gland, you will not be able to increase calcium level in the blood. So that's why you have hypocalcemia. A 65-year-old woman who has been suffering from deep vein thrombophlebitis at the lower leg suddenly died when awaiting an appointment with the doctor. Autopsy re revealed loose variable red masses with corrugated dull surface in the main pulmonary artery and bifurcation. What process was discovered by the pathologist in the pulmonary artery? So we know that that the Oma had deep, deep vein thrombophlebitis. And because of this, this, this is inflammation of your vein and thrombus formation occurring. And this thrombus can break off and they will travel because it's a vein, yes, it's a vein of the leg, and they'll travel via the inferior vena cava from the inferior vena cava to your right atrium, right ventricle. 
pulmonary trunk, pulmonary artery. Yes, and because the pulmonary arteries are very small, it will cause us. And the, when because your pulmonary arteries are very small, it will block these arteries and the person will die. So what occurred thromboembolism? Because the thrombus and embolism because well, first of all, it has to be an embolism because um, it's it's originated from the vein and travels. So we know anything that travels is called an emboli, yes. So a thrombo because it originated from this thrombus, yes, thrombo emboli. After surgical removal of the thyroid gland, a patient developed numbness in the extremities. Lab shows hypocalcemia. What hormonal agent should you? Prescribe. So, of course, you have to prescribe parathyroid hormone so that you can increase the calcium level in the blood. A patient with adenoma in the zona glomerulosa of the adrenal gland, Cohn syndrome, presents with arterial hypertension. So, you should know that Cohn syndrome is the most common cause of hypertension, chromatic attack, and polyuria. Name the main link in the pathogenesis of this disorder. So, you know that Cohn syndrome is hyperaldosteronism, which means hyperfunction or hyperproduction of aldosterone, which will increase the reabsorption of sodium, water will follow sodium and increasing your arterial hypertension, increasing your, um, thereby increasing arterial hypertension. So that's how the hyperaldosteronism. Energy is necessary for the work of cardiac muscle. What substrate is the main source of energy in this working muscle? So, of course, the answer would be fatty acid because energy is necessary for working in cardiac muscles. The cardiac muscles contract all the time and they need a steady source of energy. Imagine glucose. We know that our glucose level rises and falls very easily. So our heart cannot rely on this, yes. So that's why it's with fatty acid. A patient with edema has plasma sodium level of 160. And we know the normal level is 135 to 145. This condition can be caused by changes in a certain hormone, name this hormone. So of course it will be increased aldosterone because aldosterone, if there's increase in aldosterone, aldosterone will increase the reabsorption of sodium, thereby increasing sodium level in the blood. A journalist for a long time was stationed in India. After his return from the country, he developed a string-like torus on the right leg in the subcutaneous tissue in the poverty area. At the end of these, a, this at the end of this torus, a vesicle filled with necrotic masses was formed. What type of helmet? Suspected, so we know that Dranculus um, is this helminthic parasite that mostly like to infect the subcutaneous tissue, especially in the leg. And we explain this in the biology series, yes, in medical biology series. This is a um, you have probably seen this a lot where in Instagram where they are trying to pull out this one from the patient's leg. I know it's Dranculus. Enterobiasis vermicularis is pinworm, and we know it has to do with the perennial food of children. Ascaris will cause intestinal disturbances, yes. Trichosis will cause muscle pain. So that's why the answer is dracon clues. A patient complains of red color of his urine and tears. According to the medical history, he undergoes treatment for pulmonary tuberculosis. What anti-tuberculosis agent can cause this phenomenon? So we know that rifampicin, if you look at the drug, is actually orange in color. So when the patient takes this, it is one of the side effects is the patient's urine and tears will change orange red. Isoniazid, one of the major side effects is the decrease of vitamin B6. In a polyventilated and overcrowded room, an elderly man has developed increased blood pressure. What is the mechanism of this reaction? So we know that when someone is in a polyventilated and overcrowded room, as I explained the difference between for you between carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide poisoning. I told you that carbon dioxide poisoning, we did it in physiology, yes. I told you that the carbon dioxide poison is mostly poison is mostly seen in polyventilated or overcrowded room. And because of this, there's increase in carbon dioxide in the blood. And of course, it has to be due to pressure reflux from the chemoreceptor because your chemoreceptors will respond to changes in carbon dioxide and oxygen. And out of our option, we only have two options with chemoreceptors. We know that if there's depressed reflex from the chemoreceptors, it will actually decrease, yes. So that's why it's the pressure reflex from the chemoreceptor because pressure means vessel constriction. So constrict. So if you vessel constrict, you have increased blood pressure. Histological microsite of a certain endocrine gland shows epithelial bands that consist of chromophyll and chromophobe cell. What organ is this? So we've explained the difference, yes, in histology. 
you know that once you see this, it's indicative of what's your pituitary gland. But if they talk about chromophile and chromophobe cell, they talk about this specifically, we know that it's unique to the anterior pituitary, also called as the adenohypophysis. If they also talk about neural hypophysis, they talk about a neural network. A patient came to the dentist with complaints of suppurative inflammation of the gums. What drug would be the most effective if the causative agent is suspected to be anaerobic? This is why I told you you need to watch the ministry book series because this question requires you to have knowledge in pharmacology and microbiology. So we talk about this drug in pharmacology and we talked about different types of bacteria, aerobic, anaerobic in microbiology. We know that there's inflammation of the gums and it's anaerobic. And we are thinking of what we discussed this year's oral thrush. And one of the major bacteria that causes oral thrush is Candida albicans. Candida, Candida albicans is a facultative anaerobic fungus. Now, we know that out of all this drug in pharmacology, we talked about the antifungal drug, and we know that antifungal drug methonidazole is very effective against Candida. That's why the answer we mentioned in that zone. A 64-year-old woman presents with disturbed fine motor function of her fingers, marked muscle rigidity and tremor. The neurologist diagnosed her with Parkinson's disease. What brain structures are damaged which doesn't to this disease? So we know that the substantial nigra is responsible for the production of dopamine. In, do in Parkinson's disease, there's destruction of the substantial nigra, which decreases dopamine and presents with these signs. So that's why the answer will be substantial nigra. A woman giving birth has an increased pain threshold due to activation of the phone system. So don't confuse this. Anything that has to do with pain and they're asking you what is the opposite or they're asking you about, they're, they're talking about increased threshold to pain. So this patient, this patient is more, will I say more resistant. It will be anti nociceptive system. You should know that your nociceptive system carries pain sensation. Your body also has anti system to decrease pain. So that's why it will be anti system, okay? Due to bullet wound in this left supraclavicular region, the patient developed motor disturbance in the arm. What nerve structures are damaged? So we know supraclavicular region above your clavicle, and talking about arm, we know that it will be the cervical breakout plexus because your axillary nerve originates from, and the, the nerves that supply the motor movement of the arm originates from the breakout plexus. Yes, so that's why the answer will be breakout plexus. Autopsy of a patient who died of bilateral bronchopneumonia shows in the left lower lobe a cavity, fat and side diameter filled with yellow whitish substance. What is this? So of course it's going to be an abscess because an abscess is a cavity filled with a yellow substance or a pus. Yes, so that's why the answer will be abscess. We did this in pathomorphology, okay? So if you want to know more, check the link in the description box below. A 38-year-old pregnant woman with family history of hereditary disorder underwent tests for cell chromatine in the cells of her amniotic fluid. This test showed that the fetal cell has two bar bodies. What disorder is it? So we know that um, to calculate bar bodies, the formula is how many X chromosome you have minus one. So a healthy male does not have bar body because a healthy male has XY chromosome. So just one X. So one X minus one is zero bar bodies. For a healthy female, XX will have one, bo one bar body because one X chromosome minus the amount of X chromosome you have. So that ought to be one, yes? So it does have a trisomy X because trisomy X is XXX, so triple X. And the, how do you calculate the formula of bar bodies? You say the amount of X chromosome you have, so three minus one equals to two. So that's why this feta has two bar bodies, so trisomy. Okay, if you do the same formula for the rest, you find out that it will not be two bar bodies. Protective function of saliva is based on several mechanism. They are asking to name this enzyme. So we explain is that lysozyme is a protective enzyme in the saliva. So it helps in degrading bacteria, yes. So that's why the answer will be lysozyme. Investigation of an outbreak of a hospital acquired infection is being conducted. Pure cultures of staff or reels was obtained from the patient, healthcare workers, and some object. It is necessary to determine whether these staff local are identical to each other and to what find the source of these 
infection. I told you in microbiology that once your croc is telling you to find the source of an infection, the answer will be phage typing because phage typing has to do with identifying a bacterial phage and this bacterial phage infects bacteria, and they, the bacteria they infect is unique. They don't jump from one bacteria to another, so that's why it's with phage typing. A microsite of the skin sample taken from the finger of a child shows that the epidermis is insufficiently developed. What germ layer developed? What germ layer is damaged? So we did this in histology. We talk about all the germ layers. I know that your epidermis is developed from your ectoderm. As a result of abdominal trauma, one of the muscles that formed the superior wall of the inguinal canal was damaged. Name this muscle. So we explained this, of course, in the anatomy series. We talk about the wall of the inguinal canal, but I'll show you another photo. So as you can see, we use the demonic mold. Yes, two muscles, two aponeuroses, two ligaments, and two transversalis. So as you can see, um, the superior wall is the internal oblique muscles and the transverse abdominal muscles, but the first one is the muscle that covers most of it. So that's why we'll go for internal oblique muscle. Yes, internal oblique muscles. A patient who was in the area of radiation exposure developed increased concentration of malon dialdehyde and hydroperoxidase in blood, namely likely because of this agent. So I've explained this countless times. I told you that the method or the mechanism of action of radiation is to increase the number of oxygen radicals that is produced, and this will activate the lipid peroxidation. Know this, okay? A 16-year-old patient with diabetes mellitus was found to have ketoacidosis. Biochemically, ketoacidosis in diabetes mellitus led to a decrease in acetyl utilization due to deficiency of what? So we know we have covered this here, as I told you, in pathophysiology of diabetes. Here, as you can see, that during ketone body formation, acetyl is converted towards ketone body. Also, as, as, um, acetyl-acetate via gluconeogenesis will converted to glucose, which, um, sorry, not glucose, will converted to glucose phosphate which will be converted to pyruvate, and pyruvate will convert to acetyl and acetyl will enter into the formation of ketone bodies. So here they said there is, patient was found to have ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis in diabetes mellitus patient led to a decrease acetyl A utilization due to deficiency of course oxaloacetate because in ketone body, the oxaloacetate will be converted to glucose phosphate. Hence, acetyl A cannot combine oxaloacetate to form citrate. So of course, if you don't have oxaloacetate, you will not have the formation of citrate. And also, at some time later, your body will start to convert acetyl A to ketone bodies. So that's why the answer oxaloacetate. Histologically, microside of the wall of the eyeball shows a structure with no blood vessel. What structure is this? So we cover this anatomy. Yes, we know that your cornea, transparent part of your eyes, lack blood vessels. They lack blood vessels. They lack lymphatic vessels too. They lack all vessels. Patients with alcoholism receive the bulk of all calories with alcoholic drinks. There may be characteristic timing deficiency known as Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome that causes nervous dysfunction. This process associated with decreased activity of the following enzymes. So of course, it will be what pyruvate dehydrogenase because we know in biochemistry that when you have deficiency of vitamin B1, there will be decreased activity of pyruvate dehydrogenase and transketolase. But if there's deficiency of private um, dehydrogenase, it will present with these signs, psychosis, memory loss, so on and so forth. During practical classes, the students were studying a stained smear of mouse blood, where the process of heterophagy occurred. What organized plays the key role in this process? So they are studying the blood of a mouse, and they saw or they noticed the process of heterophagy or phagocytosis, and we know that phagocytosis would be what the lysosomes or macrophages, yes. A patient presents with high blood pressure. A patient presents with high blood aldosterone. What physiological active substance causes this? So we know that increase of angiotensin 2 also has a stimulative effect on the release of aldosterone. So that's why the answer will be angiotensin 2. We did this in, in the Rene angiotensin system here in physiology. A person presents with basal metabolism that exceeds normal by 8%. It means that this process of energy metabolism in these persons are, so they want to confuse you, they already said it exceeds normal. 
but you should, I don't know why they why they put that, but you should know that if your energy met, your basal metabolism, if your basal metabolism increased from two to thirty percent, it will be it will be within the normal range. So anything above thirty percent will be increased. Okay. Due to gamma radiation, a segment of DNA chain rotated one hundred and eighty degree. What mutation occurred? So we explained this all this type of mutation, yes, and their classification. We know that if you see rotated or it turned or it inversed, it would be inversion. When playing, a child receives a hit to the pristellum region. As a result of this trauma, as a, as a result of this trauma, an organ located behind the pristellum was damaged, named this organ. So of course it would be thymus, because we know that in a child, your thymus is located in the pristellum region and it's very big, yes. And if you hit this region, there's risk of damaging the thymus. As a result of a trauma, the semicircular canal in the patient's inner ear were damaged. This person will be unable to respond to the following stimuli. So, semicircular canal is for angular or rotational motion. But if they talked about utricle and circle, it would be linear accelerated motion. In the pulmonological unit, a patient with obstructive bronchitis with spastic component was prescribed a bronchiolytic agent. So, a bronchiolytic agent, bronchodilation. The therapeutic effect of this drug is based on the stimulation of beta adrenergic receptors in the bronchial smooth muscle. Name this one. So they're asking you to name a drug that is a beta 2 agonist. So, of course, it will be sabutamol because prednisolone is a glucocorticoid, yes. Thank you very much. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.